Good morning, folks. What's going on here? Uh, it is Earth Master checking in on this Wednesday morning, December 2nd, 2020. It's a date pretty early in the morning, right? 6.33 a.m., but some uh, pretty important stuff to talk about here real quick. Won't go into uh, an extensive update, but we will cover the majority of what's going on. A lot of activity popping off in Nevada following that 5.2, downgraded to 5.1 yesterday. Since then, not a whole lot of movement along the Pacific Plate in the normal areas of, uh, well, where you would expect to see them, right? Places such as uh, around Japan, through the Indonesia area, and throughout Fiji and down to uh, New Zealand area. Pretty quiet. West Coast, though, definitely cracking with some earthquakes out there. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into something real quick first. I got to show you guys um, Yellowstone man check out check out Yellowstone I haven't seen it kick up like this in quite some time I noticed this last night I put out a little story on the YouTube channel not a video but just kind of like a, a little post and uh, Yellowstone is mega -ly swarming there it started off with a bang you can see this uh, this area of dark or uh, red color almost almost like a solid line right you would think that's one big earthquake well this is many 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 earthquakes all jumbled up into one they're gonna have a fun time trying to decipher how many earthquakes struck in this short little span of uh, oh I don't know 10 15 minutes or so um, but there's a lot there is a lot of earthquakes that took place there with that swarming um, aside from that over here you can count you can kind of get to counting the numbers of uh, quakes that they've seen there and uh, it's a pretty good handful over the last couple hours things maybe uh, seem to be calming down a little bit but this is obvious pressure uh, with what's going on along the west coast north american plate pacific plate playing in uh, playing in part there putting a lot of pressure out there on the uh, yellowstone intermountain west region uh, this showed up pretty much all over the park for the most part, but I believe it's centralized right around, uh, right around the, oh, I don't know, just west of Yellowstone Lake, it looks like, just southwest of there. Um, to be specific here, I can look at some of these. Uh, it's a toss-up, it looks like, between the uh, promontory over here and the Little West Thumb, but I think, uh, let's see, what do we got here? I think this may be a little bit more uh, uh, closer, but uh, either way, right around the central, south central area of Yellowstone National Park in an area where we haven't really seen swarming. Uh, we've seen it in various locations, but not specifically in this area um, in recent times. But uh, definitely uh, some, some good size quaking going on there, good size, good size swarming, if you will. Now these quakes are not uh, major quakes. In fact, I believe most of them look like they're under, oh, probably under 2.5 or so, but there's a bunch of them. And when there's a bunch of uh, swarming going on at a super volcano, uh, I, I tend to um, look up and open my eyes and wonder what the heck's going on. I believe it's purely plate tectonics at the moment uh, with the stress that's going on along the west coast ultimately putting some pressure uh, up against Yellowstone here. USGS is not... We'll go ahead and show you the map here real quick. And this is the uh, all-magnitude map here. I can't really... I, I, USGS is showing some of the quakes going on there. Kind of east... This kind of looks like a little bit of a... a little bit more northeast than I was looking at on the other map there, so... You know, maybe maybe that's a little bit more correct. Uh, I was kind of thinking it was somewhere over here, just to the central area, but right over Yellowstone Lake. Kind of interesting there. About 11 earthquakes here, folks, but there is definitely a way more, way more, and they'll get they'll get to it. The USGS will get to it. They're just kind of deciphering uh, the uh, the for sure mag the for sure quakes and the magnitudes of them. But here, I mean, I could probably probably 30 or 40 earthquakes just within this single area right here and then not to mention all these other little ones here so the 11 that they're showing is very very uh light 
and there's much much more folks so that's just what they're showing for now i'm sure a little bit later um, once the folks at the usgs get through with uh um you know looking over this stuff they will uh, add more so basically this lake butte station would be the prime spot for the uh epicenter of this swarm according to the usgs and it kind of looks like it but it's hard to it's hard, kind of hard to tell when they're showing up showing up specifically on these other station other stations just as strong i mean it was, it's just crazy i seen that kicking off early in the morning i was like whoa that uh that is some major swarming going on and uh i love it i absolutely love it when yellowstone swarms it's a very interesting topic uh we'll probably discuss a little bit later on in the day um uh, just coming off of a uh of a 12-hour night shift so i'm a little bit uh, a little bit tired and and ready for bed i think but i did want to do an update video and let you guys know the uh the uh swarming that's going on there in yellowstone national park um i just don't uh i don't think we're through out here on the west coast to be honest folks um just not a whole lot of movement out here uh it seems as though uh in this general region here west coast i mean look how look how quiet it is still up here um but i, I just I, I just have a feeling that we're going to see some offshore movement here pretty soon the earthquake activity there in nevada is still you know still kicking off pretty good there 300 and well let's zoom in a little bit closer 200 and 280 or so 289 minus these couple ones here in this area over the last uh over the last 24 hours definitely a large uptick following that 5.1 there that struck yesterday um it looks like some new activity down here southeast of mount whitney lone pine fault system there the owens valley fault system a little 2.2 popping off here within the last hour uh we will cover this a little bit more later uh in in uh, detail when it comes to the yellowstone swarms we'll take a look at past swarms and uh talk about uh what we'll have to have to see exactly if this picks up between uh, uh now and later this afternoon when i do an update um far as specific stations that i have pulled up here i not 100 percent sure if i even have yellowstone popped up here I do. I do have the Canyon uh, Canyon Station, which is kind of west of there, west of the current swarm that's taking place there in Yellowstone. That's going to be uh, uh, while well, it's coming up around the bend. This is Barrett. Uh, lost a couple stations there. It looks like Chile Station is down, but the Yellowstone Yellowstone Station is right here. Canyon. Some of the larger quakes in that uh, earthquake swarm will pop up, but. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, dial up a l more localized uh, seismograph station there for uh, for closer monitoring. But uh, for now, we'll leave, leave it as is. After I get some sleep, then I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, fix that. So anyway, folks, have a good night. Or uh, good night. See, I tell you what, lack of sleep, man. I tell you why, it's pretty crazy. It does some wonders on uh, people's brains, especially mine. Um, I went ahead and added uh, a couple more hours past the 24-hour period because of the substantial amount of earthquakes that has taken place there in Nevada. Uh, when you go to the last 24 hours there, we start diminishing other quakes around the globe. Even though there's not a whole lot, it does take its toll on the numbers here on the globe. So I kind of add it back a, a few more hours so we can see a little bit more uh, a little bit more of the quakes, right? Because that 5.1 didn't happen uh, yesterday morning. Kind of happened there in the afternoon or so. Uh, so we'll kind of keep it right there. But uh, still very quiet out here. Very active in the North American plate. And uh, I expect that to continue. Um, especially with the swarming going on there in Yellowstone National Park. An obvious sign of uh, not impending doom, but uh, obvious plate tectonic pressure being applied there. All right, guys, uh, have a good night. I got to get some sleep. Good morning. Good day. <laughs> Stay safe. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.